Hey. So I'm passing on a book rec recommendation that I got from Lisa Moore over at Redbone Press. Um, we were talking about food and how to eat good food, better food, um, healthy food sort of thing. Um, and so she recommended that I pick up a copy of Michael Pollan's Food Rules. That's what the cover looks like. Um, he's the guy who wrote um, In Defense of Food, Food Inc., Omnivore's Dilemma. And I think he's turned into some kind of food advocate. Um, I don't think I, I think he started out as a journalist, but now he's like huge into food. Um, and so Mich Lisa recommended I get this book because it has 63 rules. It's some common sense, straightforward things that you can do to make some better food choices. And I know that's important for folks who are trying to take better care of their bodies and incorporate, um, you know, maybe lose weight or just deal with some health concerns they have. And I know that I've been striving to eat healthier foods as I go along. So I wanted to share some of the, I, it's an excellent book. I've already read it. It's going to take you like less than an hour to read it. Um, it has 63 rules and a lot of them are straightforward and some of them I'm already doing. So you're probably already doing them too. Um, and so one of the things he says is one of the rules is to eat food. And you go, huh? Well, he says we're sort of in a culture that we eat food like substances. Um, and that's basically anything that a uh, food scientist, soon as we have food scientists, could create in a lab. And so, um, yeah, uh, I can, Gogurt, what's that? Nobody knows what Gogurt is. Um, Cheetos is just some corn and some cheesy things. That's not food. You can you can't grow it anywhere. Um, let's see, uh, Oreo cookies. <laughs> So anything that's really in the middle aisle of your grocery store, you should probably cut it out. You should probably just eat things on the peripheral of the store, like in the produce aisle, get nuts. If you're into meat, eat meat. Uh, but anything that anybody you can't grow out of the ground, that you can't go to its natural source and retrieve it, you should probably not be eating it. Um, there are some kind of random, just random things. Like don't eat cereal that changes the color of your milk. Because that means there's all kind of dyes and chemicals, and we don't know what the long-term um, effects are. He says, number rule number 20, it is, it, it's not food if it arrives at the window of your car. So basically, don't go to fast food restaurants. Because like, what they're giving you are these high, uh, highly processed foods. And I think ultimately it's what he's saying. Like, get away from highly processed foods and eat whole foods. Get as close to it. I thought one of the coolest ones was, like, he didn't tell you not to eat junk food. He says, make it. If you want peanut brittle, which I currently want peanut brittle, go in your kitchen and make it. If you want pretzels, which I currently want pretzels, go in your kitchen and make it. If you want fried chicken, go in your kitchen and make it. Because chances are you're going to lose use tons less bad calories, I mean calories, bad um, ingredients for you if you're making it by your own hand. Because if you go into one of those kitchens, um, industrial kitchens, and they're putting pounds of sugar and pounds of salt and pounds of other kinds of chemicals that we have no idea how to pronounce. So that's my book review for Michael Pollan's Food Rules. I think it's super helpful. It's really little. You can throw it in your bag or your work briefcase and refer to it, which I have a couple times. And I promise you, you will see the grocery store completely different once you finish reading this little book. So hope you guys are having a good Monday. And I'll talk to you guys later.